that I would like all of you to do, right? Like one thing that I would like all of you to do is first of all, get very, very strong on foundation skills. I repeat this in every webinar that I do. I repeat it to every student that I, that asks me what is the thing that they should learn. I'll keep repeating that unless I see that everybody gets that, right? So you need to really focus on your foundation skills. Once you have very strong foundation skills, then you can start focusing on anything else, right? You really need to have very, very strong foundation skills. And before that, if you start jumping into things like web development or Android, you might still learn it, but you will not learn it the way uh, you should learn it. And a lot of times you'll be just copying, pasting code, which you are not understanding. And all of these things will be a problem. So you really need to uh, first work on your foundation skill. Language is not important. You can pick up any language that you like. Because it's very likely as you go above in your career, you will have to change the language as you're going ahead, right? So for example, personally, like I have, I've used Java, C++, Perl, PHP, Objectives, all sort of languages as part of my job or as part of my learning. But uh, if you give me any new language today, my answer is not going to be that, hey, I don't know this language. My answer is going to be, hey, give me some time. I need to just figure out how this is different from other languages. And the differences are very really small, right? So we just need to figure that out. And once we are able to do that, things will be absolutely okay. So don't focus on language, focus on your skills, get really strong on industrial algorithms. Once you're done with that, then you need to pick up what do you want to do, right? In an ideal world, I would say everybody, nobody should spend all their time on competitive programming. They should learn some skill which they're going to use. Right? The skills that you will be using in a job are going to be web development, are going to be Android application development, are going to be machine learning, are going to be iOS development, right? Like, so these are the kind of things that you will be you doing as part of a job. So you should definitely do that as well, right? Now talking about what are the kind of jobs that are going to be available, right? So see, web development is something that all the companies need, right? Web developers are required by all the companies and that's the most common job profile that most of the companies will have, right? Uh, simple reason is, right, like even if I, as a company, my main product is an app, there is going to be a server which is going to serve data to that app. That will require me to have web developers who are going to work on the web development side. So that's definitely going to be needed, right? So similarly, uh, every company is going to require some Android developers because there is going to be an Android app for most of the company. So they will require iOS developers, but the number of web developers required will be far higher more than anything else, right? I think machine learning jobs are on a high and they are going to go up. Uh, but if you ask me, anybody today, I would definitely recommend, hey, first make sure that you are good in web development and then you move into other areas and you start exploring them. Because see, as things get harder, right? One thing that we need to make sure is that we are able to present ourselves with strong uh, proofs around our skills. So I would not want to see just projects in your resume. I would like to see links to those projects as well, right? Like I would like to see not just a GitHub profile. I would like to see, hey, these are three projects that I built. Why don't you give it a try, right? Why don't you open this on the website and like just, just see how it works. So that's something that I would like to see uh, on all of your resume uh, so that we are able to get there, right? So that's something that would be. So ideally, I, what I'm saying is, I would want all of you to learn DS Algo, right? Maybe do some competitive programming on the side, right? It definitely helps. It keeps you sharp. It keeps you uh, like thinking of time, space, complexity, which is very important, right? And along with that, work on your development skills. Okay. If you're absolutely sure that you like Android, that's absolutely okay. You don't have to, like, you don't really have to uh, get into web development first, right? Like, but if you, if you feel like you're not sure what to do, I would say go for web development. And then basically work on projects. That's going to be extremely important. I'm telling you, going forward, you need to have a strong DS algos as well as you need to have good projects in the resume. Uh, we should not be taking any chance in terms of uh, that companies just focus on DS algo. Why should I work on projects? Because I'm telling you, as soon as one thing that's going to work in favor of companies is 
that if they are hiring less they are going they can maintain higher standards right they can say that i am going to hire people who are good in ds algo and they should have projects as well and they should have this as well right so because they there will be less jobs automatically their tools that these companies can get more choosy in terms of the kind of people they want to hire right so that's going to be there for new programming updates and videos subscribe to coding ninjas channel